Hey guys, if you guys are into RC airplanes, RT cars, drones, anything that involves a lithium battery, then you guys know uh, your batteries are very important and that you need to take good care of them. So uh, one thing to invest in is a really good charger and secondly to that is you need a good disc charger. If you guys will use lithium batteries, or this is gonna keep your batteries in a good state for storing. That's sitting on the shelf for months at a time so that way your batteries don't go bad. So today I'm gonna review this uh, disc charger. Uh, I got it on Amazon, it's the best one I've found. Here's an unboxing review and a quick uh, how-to on how to use it. So uh, pretty basic, what's in the box is the uh, actual disc charger itself and then a uh, lead that connects to the battery. So this is an uh, XT60 connector uh, that just goes to wires so that way you can solder on uh, whatever fitting that you want to use for your battery. So there's you know T connectors, JST connectors, Traxxas connectors, some E flight connectors, different things. Uh, so whatever your battery that you're going to use uh, is what you want to connect on there. So uh, I use this uh, Dynamite Profit Sport Duo charger, and so I have uh, leads that have these four millimeter banana connectors on the end. Uh, we got the JST connectors, and I got the E flight uh, uh, board for some two cell batteries. And so what I'm gonna do actually is just uh, put the banana four millimeter connector onto the end of this. Uh, so I'm just gonna make a lead there so I can plug this into the discharger and then plug in, cause I have a bunch of these wires for my charger that way I can just use the same cables for my discharger. Um, so that way I have less leads laying around. I'll just have one you know, universal one that goes into here and then I'll just have these ones that I can swap between my charger and my discharger. Once you're finished building your cable to plug your battery in, you can go and plug it in and using it is really easy. Uh, just one single knob uh, to control it, just push it once to turn it on and then uh, push it once to get between the different selections there. There's a nice table that it comes with in the instructions, you can use that to set up the correct settings for uh, what, how many cells uh, the battery is. It works really fast, so that battery, that first one was just a battery I had about 50% charge on. Uh, and then this other one is uh, one I had a full charge on. Uh, with this one, it was a battery that I took the plane out and crashed it, so I had a full battery and I don't have a way to use it. And so I need to uh, discharge the battery so it's not sitting around. And uh, after you know about three days of the battery sitting, uh, it, it'll It'll ruin the battery, it'll start to puff up and you'll uh, lose uh, a lot of life out of the battery. So it's really important to make sure you bring the uh, voltage in each cell down to around 3.2 uh, volts per cell. Uh, now that I have that nice connector, I can just uh, plug in any of my other uh, cables uh, and do it to all my other batteries to make sure they're all at the right uh, voltage so that way they're okay for storage. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like RC videos, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up if you guys like these videos. It really helps me out. Uh, thanks again.